Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you some ideas on how you can incorporate collage elements into your artwork. So the first thing you need to do is come up with your sketch. I did something that was a little more simple, sort of more of a close up so that I could apply the textures more easily. And then I had to gather a library of potential textures that I could use. So here are some of the ones that I found and I got all of mine from the website graphicstock.com. They have a huge library of royalty free images to download and there's even a seven day free trial you can check out. But the fact that it's royalty free makes it excellent for artists like us because then we don't have to worry about infringing on someone's rights. Like if you used a random image from Google, you don't own that picture. So it's best to use royalty free stock images. So now I'm tracing around my sketch because I sketched it on computer paper and I wanted to put it onto marker paper since I'm going to be coloring some of it in markers. And I didn't bother drawing in all the details of the hair because the hair is actually going to be one of my collage elements. I decided I'm going to have a patterned background and then I'm going to have a pattern for the hair and then I did cut out some extra little things that you'll see at the end. So now I'm tracing around the hair on the patterned paper and I'm just going around the outside of the hair, again, not worrying about drawing all the details within the hair. Really, I just drew those in this sketch to give myself a reference point so that when I do start to color in the hair, I can look at my sketch and see, how, see where the strands of hair were. So now I'm just erasing the edges to get rid of my pencil lines along the edges, and I'm seeing how it matches up against my sketch. And then it's time to color in the portions that aren't going to be collaged. So in my case, that's her face and then her shirt and her arm. So I'm just using a combination of my Copic markers, my pencil crayons, and my multi-liners. So the eye is in ink, the nose and mouth are in pencil, and then the rest is done in marker. And you'll see me overlay the hair to make sure everything is matching up. I wanted to erase my pencil line so that if I colored over the pencil in marker, it wouldn't then become unerasable because the picture you cut out isn't gonna perfectly match up with your pencil lines. And so that's why I erased the pencil lines, but then it was a bit of a struggle to color it in. One alternative would be to paste the hair collage on and then color the face. But I was just too worried that the edges of my paper, since they're raised, would gather the marker ink and the ink would get onto the hair portion. So that's why I decided to color in these areas first before doing the collage. So while the coloring process is going on, I'm just gonna talk about a few ways you can incorporate stock images into your traditional art because usually patterns and textures are more used in digital art because it's easy to copy and paste it into your work. And that's a really great technique, but it's also fun to try and incorporate that into traditional art like I'm doing in this video. So the most basic thing you can do is make it a background like I did with mine. I just took a pattern, made that my background, and that was it. And then there's what I'm doing with the hair, which is actually pasting that pattern into a certain area in the drawing. It could be the hair, it could be the clothing, it could even be the skin, anything really, and it depends what you're drawing. If you're doing some kind of landscape, you could paste a really cool texture into bushes and trees. And then there's what I do later on with some butterflies is cutting out individual objects and pasting them onto your art. So now that it's all colored, it's time to glue on the hair. So I put glue all over the back of it and then carefully stick it down onto my drawing. It's hard to get it exactly right, but try your best. I also made sure to cut the hair piece a little bit bigger than the marker paper piece so that it would for sure cover all of it. And then I'm just fixing up the face because I noticed that some of the shading didn't quite align with the cutout. Now I'm gluing down the whole marker paper piece onto my background, which is glued down onto a piece of cardstock just to keep, make it a little bit thicker and less flimsy. And then I'm starting to color in the hair. So I'm using a purple marker to draw out the different locks of hair. And I'm also outlining the hair entirely. And then I do shade in a little bit of the areas that would normally have shading. And I'm just making sure everything is really streaky, but not colored in too much to the point where it's covering up the design. Because the whole point of doing the collage is so that the design shows through. So it's a combination of making sure you're getting enough detail in the hair, yet not completely overpowering the pattern that you laid down. And another great thing you can do that is not directly using the 
collaged elements in your picture, but is to use stock images of real people for studies and reference for anatomy. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm stuck trying to draw a nose from this angle, you can look up some images and see if that helps you. Or if you just want to do some anatomy studies or just studies in general of how to draw things, that's what they're really great for. And the other thing I thought of is not just directly copying and pasting the textures, but drawing them by hand. You can look at a pattern and think, okay, that's really cool, but to make it more your own is you could just copy the pattern freehand and that would look pretty neat. So now I'm coloring the butterflies that I printed out and it works best if you color them before you cut them out. I realized as I was cutting the first one out that that would be the case. So I have little yellow butterflies because I thought that would pick up nicely on the yellow that's in the pattern in her hair. And then I arranged them how I thought they would look cute and glued them down. So I hope you guys liked this collage video and found it inspirational. I think it's really fun to combine drawing and collaging so it makes it a bit more of a crafty project and it's just something different and fun to do. So I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.